Welcome back my friends to another video. In today's video I will be doing a ring pour. Um, actually I'm going to do a straight pour and um, my colors are inspired today by Mina Villegas. She did a video I don't know a year or so ago um, Aquarius and so my colors that I will be using today <clears throat> she did an angel wing pour and I don't haven't tried to do that and I'm not going to try to do that because <laughs> I have, don't have enough experience anyway this is paint gray this is a mixture of Golden's Payne's Gray and Windsor Newton Payne's Gray. Excuse me a moment while I go turn on another light. It's a little dark. Hopefully that'll help a little. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> All right, and then next up we have Golden's turquoise phthalo and all of these are mixed with about two ounces of paint two ounces of liquitex pouring medium and about three to four to five uh, about three ounces or so of uh, uh, Floetrol American Floetrol and these paints have been sitting for over a week, so I need to use them. I meant to use them before I left on my little mini vacation to go meet my new family. Well, not my new family, but my um, family that <laughs> I never knew I had. If you follow my channel, follow my channel. Um, I am sorry for the lapse in this last video um, but I went to go meet my sister and my uncle and my aunt and some cousins and this color here is by Arteza and it is bronze uh, pearl copper a oh, pearl copper well, I meant to do a bronze, so I don't, maybe I didn't have it. Oh, I do have bronze, but anyway, <laughs> I'll go ahead and go with this. I have bronze and another set of our other paints that I have. I didn't even think to look into. All right, this here is Metallics Deco Arts 24 Karat Gold. Dreamy and luscious, mound on a mound. And over here we have Golden's Teal. And because of the different consistencies of these paints, that's why some of these look a little more than other ones. Like there's a little more in there. Um, they were hard to kind of get to the same consistency, but I did my best. So hopefully. Hopefully these are good. <laughs> All right, so that was the teal. And here I have Perusian Blue Hue by Golden. It's not Golden's, it's Golden. I hear a lot of people call it Golden, so I tend to do it a lot myself. <laughs> but that is a beautiful blue, Perusian Blue. And in this cup here, I have some Golden Fluid Acrylics Iridescent Bright Gold. Just a couple squirts of that mixed with Metal uh, Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in Pure White. And Mina wasn't kidding when she said there was oil on top of that. Make sure that you mix it up nicely. There was a ton of oil on there, which, as she said, causes the cloud effect that people use in um, other techniques, paint techniques, painting techniques. So that is that. 
can barely see the gold in it. That's all right. Okay, and then in here, am I going to use this one? Yes. <clears throat> this is, I believe, this is just Blick acrylic um, titanium white. But I don't remember because it's been about, a, like I said, like a week since I mixed this over a week um but so i am going to layer my cup and <clears throat> get some gloves on so i don't make a mess all over my hands get these paints out of my way ah where to put them where to put them in All right, that's good. So let me go ahead and get my gloves on right quick. I think what I'm gonna do here is not use this white because I don't remember what it is. So I'll put that in a in a sealed container when I'm through here. I'll just put it off to the side right now because I'm going to go ahead and use my Prussian or my Payne's gray for my base. All right, I'm going to get started here with the Payne's gray. some of the gold and for this can size canvas of 20 by 20 I need about 15 ounces a little over 15 ounces of paint and then I'm gonna come in with the turquoise see was turned off. All right, Persian blue, and then I'm going to come in with what was supposed to be bronze, but copper. I don't need to get the whole thing cut before it drips on my canvas. Okay. And then I'm going to come back in with some Payne's Gray. Not too much because I need to save some of that. Probably not even enough. But like I said, I'll mix colors. Okay, and then I'm going to come back in with some white. Right, and then I'm going to come in with some more of the turquoise. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with some more of the gold. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with some of my teal. Okay, 
it's still lower I guess not too much because it's pretty bossy all right and then we're gonna go with some Parisian blue and we're just about to what we need to be at okay and then we're going to go back in with some more of this copper slash bronze. <laughs> and then that. And then I will finish it off with a little bit of some Hermes Gray here. Move my stuff back out of the way. That is that. Um, now I am going to move this aside. Right, I am going to add some water to my Hermes Gray here. Thin it up just a tad bit. Don't want it too thin, but we don't want it too thick. Don't want a mound on top of a mound. Just a little tiny bit more water. That's probably good. No, it doesn't seem like much, but like I said, you don't need much. Probably good on this. Let's see, it runs off the stick nicely. Close my water up. You give me this energy. It is like you set me free. Chasing heights to stay alive. But if I Okay, so I just want to make sure I got something on there. So let's go ahead and just pour this out. Let's go. Are you ready? You've been staring since I came in. I know you want to get to know me. Uh -huh. But honestly, I came with my girls, want to dance by ourselves. Can't you tell? Baby, baby, I have thick skin. Yeah. I don't let things get to me. But do you want me to spell it out for you right now? I'm not feeling your vibe. Crystal clear that your head over heels, but don't come any closer, my dear. Cause when I get mad, I cannot control what might happen. You think you can put your hands on my body. I'm no damsel in distress. No. Come too close, I might just lose it. I knock you down like boom, 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 boom. I knock you down like boom, 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 boom. I knock you down like boom. like the way this is looking let's see if I can 
zoom you in a second without getting paint on my phone or on my ring light. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is. to keep you <coughs> in frame here and I need <laughs> a little bit of paint right here some assistance right next to that and I think I need some too not nearly enough there to help this paint slide and glide nicely over it. So let's go ahead and just get this started before I, it starts to dry. So, one way, come back. This way, try to keep you in frame. Ooh, that's such pretty colors. Okay, we're gonna come back to the middle. And let's go that way. Not too radically. That's opening up so pretty over here. It's beautiful. Okay, and then let's go back to the middle. I apologize if you guys can hear that. Uh, I'm not even sure what kind of tool they're using, but the gardeners are outside. So, all right, let's go this way. Let's get this. corner over here. I think it's rolling right over itself. I can't tell. Pull that all the way back. All right. And which way do we want to go? Let's go That way, I believe. We'll walk it down a little bit. Try to, anyway. Go right off that corner down there. And back up. Oops, I didn't get enough off the side. That's all right. We'll go back at that. And let me get this turned around here if I can. Oops. Ooh, look how pretty those lines are in there. All right. And now let's see here. Which way do I want to go? It's turning out very... Very uh, light in color. <laughs> All right, we'll just go down this way. So you can see that good. And hopefully, I had enough paint on here. I got my other corner to start to do. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's pull that back. Got a bad angle here. Let 
It's so pretty. The gold is so pretty throughout it. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and go off this corner here. Next time I do a bigger canvas, I'm going to have to try to get my camera up higher. off the edge. Come on. Ow, my ring is turning in my glove. Ow. Oh, I almost made a mess. Almost tripped on my painting. Wow. I think it looks pretty awesome, personally. I have to make, fix a couple of spots, but other than that, I think it looks cool. So let me get these spots fixed, and then I will bring you on down to give you a close-up. Alrighty. So. Is the lines in it are beautiful. I didn't do a whole lot of different compositions because I actually kind of like the way that the whole looks like a spine. <laughs> There's a spine right there. But I like the satin enamels, kind of giving that cloudish effect. I love these little ripples right here. They're so pretty. And the gold is just throughout. It's just blinging. <laughs> so, some beautiful detail in that. Beautiful, beautiful. I love these big pores, but I just got to figure out a better recording angle. So let me go ahead and turn the lights off and my flash on and I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, definitely. Definitely can see the shimmer in that. You could see it without the flash on, but it's just simply beautiful. I got all my colors, which I'm happy about. Thank you for those fabulous color combinations. Truth be told, I wrote down <laughs> the order that she put it in. <laughs> so that is something I need to work on is how to layer it without copying people. <laughs> but Mr. Gibson. Shh. Kitty's over here. Obviously you can hear him. But anyway, all right, so I will be back when this little baby dries. Don't forget to scrape your bottoms on that, the edges. Shortly. Say hi, kitty kitty. Meow. Meow meow. Kitty kitty. All right, my friends. I am back um, with the dry results. Let me know how you thought or what you thought of my new camera arrangement. Maybe not new. I got to do a camera or a phone for free. And so I was like, ooh, let me try to see if I can get a recording off of that and add it into my videos so I can get different angles and it worked but it took me forever and the phone still has no memory so hopefully I'm going to be getting another phone that I can use. But anyway, so here are the dried results. You can see I had this outside but it's kind of gloomy out so there's no sun. So let's see how I can get this the view. The lines are beautiful. I love the way that this is like feathered here. And right in there. 
it's like a spine. I'm not really thrilled with how this part just kind of slides off right there. <laughs> but, and somehow, oops, sorry about that. I just touched my microphone. Uh, somehow, I got some copper right in here, too. I guess I dripped it on there. Um, <laughs> I'll try to fix that. But here is my 20 by 20 spinal straight pour. Uh, orientation, not quite sure. I wish you could see more of the gold and the sparkle in there. Let's see if we put it towards this light. You can see it in there. But anyway, this here is my latest. And you know, I, again, I apologize for the um, lack of videos. And I uh, am getting better. <laughs> and uh, this, I'm just going to do what I can to get back and get these videos going for you guys. Because I really do miss it. And I think that doing more art is going to help me to come back to where I want to be and, you know, be who I want to be, not this person who's like, down in the dumps and not very happy. So anyway, I am happy and I'm not happy. There's just a lot of things in my life right now that's kind of chaotic for me. <laughs> but anyway, so with that being said, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below. If you are currently subscribed, thank you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys more than you know. And that is also going to help me to get my me back in the mode of doing what I love to do, which is art. So that being said, I hope you have a good day, good night, whatever it may be for you. And until my next video, take care.